Hello and welcome um, to how to create a digital public relations campaign. Uh, this would be our first lecture on how to create a campaign. In this lecture we're going to go over the steps needed to create a digital public relations campaign for a company. Um, in the following lectures we will go over the in, more in depth with each of these processes. The first lecture is pulled from a variety of digital PR sources all listed on the last page. So a PR campaign is a specific effort to accomplish a clear, measurable goal through strategic messaging to the audience. The objective could be raising awareness of the brand to a new audience, increasing sales for a product or service, or driving attendance to an event, to name a few. PR campaigns go beyond daily PR activities and tactics. For example, campaigns are more than responding to current events, media outreach based on editorial calendars, and tracking social media uh, interactions. Those steps that we have outlined, that we're going to outline in this uh, today, um, include outlining our goals, determining our budget, performing market research, determine our audience, creating the content, launching the campaign, and then reviewing our analytics. So let's talk about outlining goals. Before you start your campaign, you want to make take some time to assess what your main marketing goal or goals are for your company, business, or product launch. The goal could be to add 100 more views to your news stories, to increase ad awareness, to sell 10% more product. Make sure that the goal is attainable and given a measurable timetable that works for you. So how, we, how do we outline our goals? We make SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Step two is determining our budget. So the average cost for outsourcing a social media advertising campaign is anywhere from $450 to $6,000 per month, with monthly ad spends ranging from $200 to $50,000 or more. Your social media advertising costs will depend on several factors, uh, such as your business size, strategy, and budget. On average, small business ads that use Google Ads uh, as part of their online advertising strategy end up spending anywhere from $9,000 to $10,000 per month. That's anywhere from $100,000 to $120,000 per year. As we said before, you don't have to do that kind of budget. You can create a successful Google Ads campaign on nearly any budget. There's two ways that you can pay for a digital advertising and the first one is cost per, per mile or CPM, so the price per 1,000 ad impressions. And the second one is cost per click, which is the price for each ad engagement, each engagement with your ad. We will go over uh, this type of uh, 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 social media advertising as we get further into the class. Step three involves performing um, perform market research. So you want to describe your product and its features and benefits in detail as well as how it's different from the competition. So look up comp competing uh, factors and make sure that you're able to meet those uh, with, that, with whatever your product is or your, um, your event, whatever you're promoting. You want to focus on all the key features of your product or service, including pricing, service, distribution, and placement. You want to collect, organize, and write down this information. Some areas to include um, or to consider is, are the market dynamics, so the patterns such as seasonality, when is a good time to release this, when is a good time um, to shout this out from the rooftops, uh, product, what's currently available, what's your competition is selling, benchmarks in the, in the industry, um, now would probably not be the best time to start selling masks um, that are custom made, or probably not a good time for COVID tests, maybe... Uh, two months ago they were good. Um, maybe they are still good right now. But you want to know what's kind of going on in current events. What is benchmarks in the industry, benchmarks in um, our kind of our economy right now? Uh, what, what is the competition selling? Did they get a different style of mass maybe? Uh, did they, um, is that what's working right now? Think of what's around you, what's selling. Um, if we're not talking about products, think we're talking about companies. Um, what companies are needed right now? Are people still using DoorDash? Are people still using Instacart? Are people still using Zoom? What does our life look like right now? Um, you want to also talk about potential um, vendors and patterns that you will need to rely on, uh, uh, partners that you will need to rely on. Within this step, you also need to consider your competition and develop your unique selling proposition or USP. With what makes you different from your competitors? So you want to write a few sentences that state who your key market is, what you're selling, and who your unique selling proposition is. Uh, these questions and exercises will help you to determine your target market and how you can most effectively sell your product or service. Uh, but there are more questions you're going to need to ask. Your next step is understanding your audience reach. 
So just step four, through determining your target personas, um, though determining your target personas is often a part of the market research process, it's important enough to deserve its own step. Um, <clears throat> you must ask yourself, who are your target customers? What are their motivations? Um, how do they like being talked to? Uh, uh, what, what media outlets do they read? Uh, and which, which websites do they go to? Which channels are they using? What social media are they, are they frequent, frequent on? These questions need to be answered before developing your integrated marketing strategy. So how to build your marketing personas? You want to first describe your ideal target customer in age, gender, family composition, earnings, likes and dislikes, lifestyle, purchasing pattern, patterns, buying op objections, hobbies, everything. You want to test your target cu uh, customer assumptions. You may not always be selling to who you think you are, <clears throat> or you may not be reaching your full potential with this target audience. You do this through in-person or online focus groups if you have a budget. Or you can do customer survey surveys um, or quiz targeted um, at your followers on social media. Or you can use social media um, or paid external surveys to get your information. Who is responding to your product or service the most enthusiastically? That's your real target market. So information to learn about your personas would include the name of your persona, the job title, so the name of your, uh, basically who you're reaching out to, your demographic, your client, uh, your consumer, their job title, the company size and industry, titles and details of the role, their gender, salary, education, location, age, pain points, goals, what types of content or promotion do they like or dislike, fears and motivations, and common objectives during the sales process. So you want to know who you're selling to, but you want to know everything about who you're selling to in order to effectively reach them. Uh, are, so who will this campaign be reaching? What is your age group focus? What are their interests and in social content and social media? So the step five is going to be creating the content. Successful campaigns often include uh, many different formats. You, once you've determined what types of content you'll use, you determine your primary offer. For example, saying you want to increase sales isn't enough. It's vague. Do you want more people to buy dresses from you? Um, or in, ensure every element of your marketing campaign is set to drive traffic to your ultimate target, whether your target is a website for purchases, reservations, email newsletter subscriptions, blog, RSS uh, subscriptions, whichever. Or are, do you have a social network like Facebook or Twitter for engagement that, um, in, that would encourage uh, a kind of a flow with your customers? Before you move on to your next step, you need to make sure that you have a marketing campaign calendar set in place that, that will help you initiate each phase of this campaign. When you've done your research and you're ready to start writing, um, you've done your research, you're ready to start writing, but you don't have to do everything. Many companies outsource to freelance writers or agencies to do their writing so they have more time to focus on their strategy. You may choose to do some or all of the writing yourself if you feel comfortable doing so. You may outsource some of your design. Whatever you decide, again, make sure you keep your persona in mind throughout the entire cre creation process. Uh, the following image, um, the image and who you represent to will follow you uh, with, with your entire business model. So a couple of steps with creating the content. You want to make sure that you're able to outsource it and have that type of content of whatever you're creating on all of those 10 listed. So social media, SEO, landing pages. Um, you want to make sure that you're creating content that can out, be outreached on all of these. You want to make sure that you have a website, obviously. You have a domain bot. You have, um, you know, you've, you've researched a little bit into Google ad analytics. You know a little bit of uh, what keywords will kind of pull up your content or whatever you're pushing. Uh, say it's a product. Uh, so this is just all important. This is just step five. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, step six would be to launch that campaign. So here we have a visual on launching that uh, that integrated campaign. So when we use the word integrated, we're, we're just using a lot of different platforms. So once you've finalized your content and you've received the sign-off from any necessary internal parties, it's time for you to do promotion and execution. There are a variety of tactics you can, you can use, including many of those listed, social, e-marketing, online print, um, uh, listed above, uh, as well as pay-per-click ads, which we briefly talked about, public relations, 
Um, everyone who enters your sales funnel via any channel, so an event, call, landing page, can prove to be valuable. Even the ones who you don't purchase your products or even the ones who don't purchase your products or services right away. However, not every channel will be right for your business. So ask yourself, what are the channel's strengths and weaknesses and how will they help you reach your business objectives? So some of you may be thinking, oh, I would only use social media or I would only use um, a print flyer. It just depends who you're who you're driving traffic for. I can't imagine um, all of them um, would be effective. Some I, I can't imagine uh, only print would be effective in this day and age. Um, but I would imagine all would be effective um, if you kind of put together a media kit of all of your different outsources that you're going to use. When we go back to this step here, um, okay. So creating the content, we want to make sure we have all of this type of content created um, that's similar and 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 usable. Um, on so like your mobile your mobile description on people's cell phones is similar to your landing page description. It's in content and visual. Um, this will include when we get to like branding that image, um, making sure that your message is concrete, um, all of that. We're just talking um, basic outline right now. But when you do get all of that together, then you put it into your campaign and you can release it to these um, four different types of uh, kind of platforms. So. Step one would be, at, or step seven would be after you review your analytics. So marketing campaigns are meant to be analyzed. That's super important. Um, it is not just a send out and go. You need to bring it back and be like, well, how did we do? So marketing campaigns are, uh, you need to make sure that you're spending your money on the right tactics and sending the most effective messages. So here are some of the ways you can analyze your campaign's performance and how you can measure them. The number or, of organic website visits to your content. So that's on Google Analytics the time on, on a web page, I can look at that on Canva, actually, I, Canvas. I can see how long you guys are staying on pages. Um, I don't, but I can. Um, you can um, email open rates, you click throughs. So uh, sometimes you may have subscribed to an email and they, they might say, hey, we've noticed that you haven't been opening our emails. Have you guys ever received one of those? So that means they're looking at their analytics and they're saying, hey, we've been sending this person emails for six months, they've never opened them. So we're gonna change our strategies with this person. I actually had a really good PR company do that and they switched their email so it was only coming out once a month and don't you know it I ended up making sure that I was opening it because it had really good um, important kind of tips in it that I needed at that time so they, they got me um, but uh, you can also do number of prospects earned at an event so that's visual or um, in various ways that can happen uh, engagement would be likes and shares on social media paid social analytics tools such as simply measured or free analytics from the social networks themselves so whatever way you decide to track your campaign obviously there's a lot of options um, you have to make sure you have enough information available um, and make sure the case uh, to make the case to your boss or yourself um, if you're an entrepreneur for continued investment in that marketing so whatever you're doing um, uh, whatever you're marketing, however you're doing it, you need to make sure that you pull that all back and you can get those numbers. We do that with More Park Reporter almost weekly. We kind of see our most read article. We see how many times um, people opened up cer certain articles, uh, kind of gauge it by that. Uh, we see uh, top, you know, top read for the month, um, just kind of what pulls people's in, uh, pull people into our website or our, our online newspaper. Go. So what you would like, I would like to do is watch this video. Um, this is the perfect digital PR campaign. It was uh, uh, created by Hostel World, and it creates um, it features Mariah Carey. So when the world's biggest diva uh, rocks up to your hostel, uh, what do you do? So hostels have a typical feeling of just being um, kind of an unplanned trip, a younger younger demographic, and that kind of thing, and just uh, thrown together. It's not at the same level as like. Uh, you know, the Ritz Carlton, right? So this was their kind of response into kind of gaining traffic, gaining um, a broader audience, and um, it's quite good. So uh, go ahead and watch that. Uh, but their goal was to prove that hostels weren't the dirty, bug-ridden, dangerous places some people think they are. Um, they've modernized it um, now with affordable offerings that can compare to most expensive hotels. So their audience is still traveling adults, um, not just the younger crowd. They are telling their story by doing this. They brought in Mariah Carey, which was huge. She's definitely a celebrity. She's telling people that hostels are better, and she even spends one night in there. So people will, will believe it. That's their whole kind of sales pitch. Their pitch to the media then is a lengthy press release, um, another blue news blast, an informal me um, email to reporters, making them aware that this video exists, providing them with background and a quote or two. 
Um, so this is just a great, this is a great uh, digital PR campaign. And you can do this following all of those steps that we've just gone on with a video like this. So you would use this video as kind of your final wrap up of uh, what you're trying to send, what you're trying to sell as your message. So the follow up with this, um, it's hard to tell from the outside world looking in what sort of follow-up Hostile World did to ensure this web, web traffic was optimal, but the campaign, campaign is so well known today that um, I'm, I'm sure you know there was some um, outreach to media regarding this. Uh, measure, the campaign, uh, the campaign video went viral almost immedia, immediately with 3.9 million views in the first week of its release. So that's a pretty decent measure of success. Um, you can look all of this up. I have everything linked. Um, just to kind of get a, another, another taste of um, options for a digital PR campaign. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.